video, we are going to explore everything you need to know about crossing the US-Canada border by foot at Niagara Falls over the Rainbow Bridge. In this video, I'll cover arrival and parking at Canadian site, walking to the border crossing, why cross the border by foot, what happens at the border crossing, walk over the rainbow bridge, US immigration questions when you enter to USA, Niagara Falls view on the US side, Canadian immigration questions when you enter Canada, how long to cross the border, tips and tricks that will make your trip enjoyable. The first thing we have to do after we arrive is to park our car. I'm on the Canadian side, Niagara Falls, so I'm going to park my car. So whenever I visit Niagara Falls, I always park my car at the casino parking lot. So here is the Niagara Falls View Casino Resort. So I'm going to the parking lot and they have a really nice, spacious underground parking lot. And for self-parking, so the parking rate is displayed, it's $15 on a weekday. However, on weekends, it will be $35. In this section, it's all about the walk and the view till we get to the border crossing. Here's the snapshot of the map that I'll be following from Falls View Casino Resort till Niagara Falls on the US side. So Google Maps showed it will take an hour by foot one way. However, that's not the real scenario. In reality, it will take more than that. Let's walk towards the falls and get to the border. So it's quite a walk from the casino parking lot. It's the most beautiful and scenic walk. So let's enjoy the walk. I'm walking down the Murray Street. So this is the closest street to the casino parking lot. So if we walk all the way down, we'll get to the falls. Now we are entering the Niagara Park. Let's cross the road and get to the other side so we can view the falls up close. Um, so I'm going towards the American and Bridal Whale Falls. Here is the rainbow bridge that connects the US and Canada and we are going to cross that bridge. So over here is the American Falls and the small falls that's the Bridal Whale Falls. It resembles to a whale and uh, here is the Horseshoe uh, Falls. So on the Canadian side, I'm standing on the Canadian side, we'll get the bird's eye view of the entire falls. What a magnificent view. I never get bored of this view. On our way to the border entrance, we'll be able to see all these activities on the Canadian side. Uh, so here are the boat rides. The red one is the horn blower from the Canadian side and the blue one is the made of mist that comes from the US side. Here is yet another thrilling activity, a zip line. So this is only on the Canadian side. Woohoo! So much fun! Let's continue our stroll while enjoying the breathtaking views. So here is the Niagara City Cruises. Here is where you can get the tickets for the boat ride and also for the zip line. Alright guys, the Rainbow Bridge is getting close to us. A few more minutes of walking and we'll get to the pedestrian entrance to USA. From here, we have to cross the road and on the other side, we can see Sheraton, Casino and Crown Plaza all lined up. So we have to take the stairs. There is also a sign that says pedestrian entrance to USA. So I'm going to cross the road and take the stairs to the pedestrian entrance that will lead to USA. I'm at the border crossing right now, so I have to pass this door to USA. 
You must be wondering why would someone cross the border by foot? Firstly, it's an incredible experience, guys. You will get stunning views of the Niagara Falls from the Rainbow Bridge. It's only a dollar per person toll. It's not at all crowded, and you can experience both U.S. and Canadian Falls view. Last but not least, it's a great opportunity to cross an international border by foot. So, did you know this is the longest international border in the world? If you have crossed an international border by foot, please comment below. Next, I'm going to share with you guys what happens at the border crossing. I'm inside right now. So here's where we have to pay the toll. So we have to pay the toll while we exit Canada. So it's a turnstile entrance to the Rainbow Bridge. So we just paid the toll. So here's where you have to pay the toll. It's a dollar per person. Here's what you need to know. At the border entrance, you have to pay toll while exiting Canada. It's $1 per person, either Canadian or US dollar, and it accepts quarters or $1 coin. Cash, credit, debit cards are not accepted. You can make change. There are a few coin machines. It will accept $5 or $10 bills. I would say the best thing to do is to bring some coins with you guys. If you're someone who relies on wheelchairs or walkers or if you're pushing a stroller or a large luggage, there is a buzzer you can press and a border guard will remotely open the locked gate next to the turnstile. I just crossed the border entrance and this will lead to the rainbow bridge. So let's start walking over the rainbow bridge. In this section, it's all about the beautiful walk over the Rainbow Bridge and the stunning views. Walking over the Rainbow Bridge, here is the view you will get uh, from the Canadian side. I'm still close to the Canadian side. And over the other side, here is the border entrance for cars and two-wheelers. And you can also see a few bicycles. Yes, you can cross the border by bike. Look at all these Lamborghinis. Looks like they're having a fun and exciting meetup. I'm truly enjoying the walk over the Rainbow Bridge and here is the phenomenal view you will be able to get from the Rainbow Bridge. 360 degrees, bird's eye view of the entire falls. You will be able to see Horseshoe Falls, American Falls and the Bridal Veil Falls. And yes, it's time to take tons of pictures. Halfway through on the Rainbow Bridge, I found this white marking. So this is the international boundary line. And here are the US and Canadian flags. Some history here, here is the black and white picture of uh, racing of US-Canada flags at the international boundary line. So this happened in November 1941. I just crossed the Rainbow Bridge and heading towards immigration in USA. And here is where the immigration checkpoint happens in this building. So we have to cross the Rainbow Bridge and before entering the US side of Niagara Falls, that's where pedestrian inspection or immigration checkpoint happens. So I'm going to open the door and get into this building for pedestrian inspection. Right now, immigration in progress, video recording is not allowed. Yay, immigration is done. It went by smoothly and right now I'm entering USA. In this section, I'll cover everything you need to know about US-Canada immigration, crossing the border by foot. U.S. Immigration Checkpoint. What documents are required? A valid passport is required. If you're a Canadian or U.S. passport holders, you do not require any other documents. All others will require a valid U.S. visa or U.S. green card to enter USA. Entry to USA. Here are the immigration questions that were asked. What is the reason for your visit? How long is your visit? What are you carrying? Where in Canada do you live? 
these are some of the standard questions however the questions can vary from person to person these are the questions for US immigration. I will cover Canadian immigration questions shortly when I enter Canada. So stay tuned and keep watching. I'm on the US side, Niagara Falls. So here is the welcome sign. After entering the Niagara Park on the US side, we just have to follow the sign. So I'm heading towards Made of the Mist and the Falls viewing area. In this section, I'll cover Niagara Falls view from the US side. Let's enjoy the beautiful stroll. So here's where we can buy the tickets for the Maid of the Mist boat ride from the US side. There is no chance of getting lost. There are a lot of signs everywhere. So I'm heading towards the American Falls. Here is the entire Niagara Falls view from the US side. Here is the close-up view of the American Falls. Now I am walking alongside the Niagara River. So there are a few islands and lookouts. So next let's take the pedestrian bridge to Goat Island. Here is the lookout for the Bridal Whale Falls. If you want to get close and feel the Bridal Whale Falls, you have to go through the tour. Cave of the Winds on the US side and there is a similar one on the Canadian side. It's called Journey Behind the Falls. Our next stop is to view the Horseshoe Falls. So we are heading towards the Terrapin Point. Here is the Terrapin Point. From here, we'll get the spectacular view of the Horseshoe Falls. This is beyond breathtaking guys. So right now we are close to the Horseshoe Falls. I am speechless and out of words to describe the power and beauty of this majestic Niagara Falls. No wonder it is one of the natural wonders of the world. That's it guys, I have viewed all the three falls from the US side. So now I'm going to exit the park and enter Canada. We have to take the same route as we came in to exit the park and enter Canada. So I'm seeing the signs, thanks for visiting the park and the pedestrian access to Canada. So we are on the right track. Going back to Canada from USA by foot. Follow me. Here is the turnstile gate entrance to Canada.
I'm back to the rainbow bridge so I'm gonna continue with my beautiful stroll enjoying the amazing views of Niagara Falls. I have crossed the rainbow bridge so going to enter Canada so have to go through border inspection at the Canadian side. Have your passports ready and the most important thing when you enter Canada you must have the arrive can receipt. So as of this recording we need to submit on arrive can until September 2022 it could change so Canada requires proof of vaccination. It's pretty easy to do you just have to install arrive can app on your phone enter your travel details and proof of vaccinations and submit and the arrive can receipt can be viewed. We have our passports and arrive can receipt ready so we are going for Canadian immigration. Right now Canadian immigration in progress. It only took a few minutes, everything went great so I am back home, back to Canada. Sharing all the questions for Canadian immigration. How long were you in the US? What did you do in the US? Did you buy anything? Where are you living in Canada? So all these are pretty standard questions. I crossed the border by foot, uh, so went to the US side uh, of Niagara Falls. So now I'm back to Canada. So it was an amazing experience, and the view of the Niagara Falls from the Rainbow Bridge was spectacular. So you guys should try it. How long to cross the US Canada border by foot? So I'm going to break it down. So just the walk over the rainbow bridge, it will only take 10 minutes. And you can park your car near to the border crossing. This is on the Canadian side. So if you're only interested in crossing the border and walking over the rainbow bridge, this might be the best option. Just park your car close to the border crossing, pay the toll, walk over the rainbow bridge, and then come back, enter Canada. Sharing the duration of my trip, so I started from the casino parking lot on the Canadian side, walked till the Canada border crossing, that took me an hour, then I walked over the rainbow bridge including clicking pictures and gazing over the stunning Niagara Falls, 20 minutes. US immigration was for 10 minutes, then I entered US side Niagara Park and I walked to all the three falls lookout points, that was an hour, so uh, one way it was 2.5 hours. So total round trip was 5 hours, absolutely and totally worth it. Sharing some tips to make your border crossing journey enjoyable. In summer, on a hot day, try to cross the border early in the morning or afternoon by 2 p.m. Have $1 coins ready for toll when you exit Canada. Carry a water bottle and keep yourself hydrated. Have all your valid travel documents when you go through immigration. While entering Canada, do not forget to submit Arrive Can and have your Arrive Can receipt ready. And finally, make lots of beautiful memories and take tons of pictures enjoy with your family and friends if you enjoyed this video and found this video to be helpful please watch this video of mine room with the best view niagara falls how to book tips and tricks i'll post the link in the description below that's a wrap guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe to my channel and let me know your feedback take care and enjoy